and i lift you and this was lift, lifting was bodily lifting it was not you know only spiritual lifting the whole tawaffi the word you know tawaffi means taking something taking something in possession and this has been used in three senses in the quran allah yatawaffal anfusahina mautaha wallati lam tamut fi manamiha when we sleep our consciousness is taken by allah subhanahu wa taala this is also tawaffi when we die our nafs is taken our life is taken by allah subhanahu wa taala when we sleep only consciousness is taken body is with there present here and the life is also there in the body only consciousness is taken and this is tawaffi and when some someone of us dies his his life is also taken along with the consciousness this is also tawaffi and hazrat isa was taken allah took the position of isa his consciousness plus his life plus his body and that was the complete tawaffi inni mutawaffika this word is applicable in its total sense on hazrat masih alaihi salatu wassalam only otherwise when we die this word is partially applicable because the body remains here it goes to the dust only the life and the consciousness is taken by allah subhanahu wa taala but you know when jesus was taken he was taken whole the body as well as the life as well as the consciousness is qala allah ya isa inni mutawaffika wa rafi'uka ilayya and lifting you up towards me wa mutahhiruka min alladhina kafaru and i will purify you against those who have disbelieved you who have leveled charges against you i will absolve you of all the charges wa ja'alul alladhina tabauka fawqa alladhina kafaru and i will make those who follow you over those who have denied you and that is the thing we find throughout the history christians have been above the jews all the time and now in our time also all the jews you know they have a state of their own and they are so to say now very respected they hold very respectable position but this is also due to the protection of the christians that's under the protection and guardianship of the christians that they have all these facilities and all these positions otherwise they themselves are nothing and the christians are above them wa ja'alul ladina tabauka fawqa alladina kafaru ila yawm alqiyamah and this will happen till the day of judgment summa ilayya marji'ukum then all of you will have to return to to me fa ahkuma bainakum fi ma kuntu fi tahtalifun and then i will judge between you about those things in, about which you had been differing fa amma alladina kafaru what will be the judgment fa amma alladina kafaru as for those who had made kufr committed kufr who had denied the ayat of allah fa wazzabuhum azaban shadidan i will put to the bo- to put them to the most severe punishment fi dunya wal akhirah in this world also and in the hereafter also wa ma lahum min nasirin and they will have no helpers nobody will be able to serve, to save them on the contrary wa amal ladina amanu those who have come to believe wa amilu salihat and they have done good deeds fa yuwaffihim ujurahum so allah subhanahu wa taala will give them their their reward in full wallahu la yuhibbu zalimin allah does not like the evil doers zalika natluhu alayka min alayat wa zikril hakim this is what we are reciting to you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the signs of allah and from the admonition that is that has wisdom az zikril hakim wise admonition in the masala isa now this is the point about which all this argument has been you know built up because before that deportation of the christians christian rep christian you know ulama the knowledgeable persons now this is the final verdict in the masala isa in the allah ka masala adam if you think that because jesus was born without any man father therefore the father was god that's the only argument that you can say because he was born without father without any human father so definitely that place has been filled by allah subhanahu wa taala himself so he is the son of god 
what will you say about adam he was created without father without mother he was created out of clay so this is the final argument inna masala isa indallah ka masala adam the likeliness of jesus with allah is is to the likeness of adam alayhi salatu wassalam khalaqahu min turab he created him out of clay summa qala lahu kun fayakun and then he said to him be and he became and he became so it is the power of allah subhanahu wa taala it is the authority of allah subhanahu wa taala he can do anything he is badiu samawat wal ard he created all these heavens and earth without anything so he can create whomsoever he likes without anything he created hazrat masih alayhi salam without father it doesn't mean that he is son of god he is, he is son of mary that is why throughout quran we find isa ibn maryam he is son of mary he has a mother alhaqq bil rabbik and this is the truth from your lord fala takum min al muntarin so you should not be from you should not be from the from those who have doubts doubters 